A terrifying fall that could have killed a promising young athlete. University of Manitoba football player Tyler Fong fell 47 meters. That's about 156 feet down a waterfall. He survived, he healed, and is now back on the field just three months after the ordeal. CTV's Megan Roberts spoke with the athlete today. Megan, how did Fong survive such a big fall? Well, Marilee, when Fong slipped, he fell head first, and he actually flipped himself mid-air and mid-fall so that his feet hit the water first instead of his head, and that quick thinking may have saved his life. Routine warm-ups for the Manitoba Bison as training camp gets into full swing. But this is one routine Tyler Fong thought he may never do again. Fong fell 47 meters down this waterfall in British Columbia. It was unrealistic, almost like there's no way this is happening. It's not possible. Fong grew up in Victoria. During a visit home in May, he and a friend hiked through a park north of the city to the waterfall. At the top, he slipped on a wet rock, fell into the falls, and slammed against rocks on the way down. I had no idea it was at the bottom. I, th I thought I was going to land on rocks. So in my mind, the only thing, only self-talk I had was, this is how I end. This is it. As he fell head first, Fong felt an eerie calmness and thought about his family, friends, and team. But when Fong saw water at the bottom of the falls, he made a quick decision that likely saved his life. He flipped himself mid-air. Just instinctively <laughs> went feet first instead of head first to uh, risk concussion or breaking my neck or anything. He had to think instantaneously, just like he has to do reacting to something on a football field. Um, he reacted properly with on a moment's notice. Uh, he had moments left in his life. The fall lasted between three and five seconds. Fong broke a rib, punctured his lung, and had many scrapes and bruises. It could have been far worse, and in fact, it could have literally been, uh, and very likely should have been, us going to his funeral. Doctors couldn't tell Fong whether he would be able to play football again, but three months later, he made a full recovery. Once I got on the field, it's like nothing changed. Fong got a tattoo on his bicep of the date of his fall, May 17th, 2015, this year. He, said it's, it's, he says it reminds him to be thankful for what he has and how easily things can change. Just remarkable. So we know Fong has made a full recovery. He's in training camp. We saw him out in the field. But will he be playing a full game anytime soon? He will, Natalie. He actually takes the field this Saturday with the Bisons. They're playing a preseason game at Investors Group Field at 1 p.m. Again, remarkable. Thanks mm -hmm. for this, Megan.